everybody, welcome back. In the last video, you, talk, you heard me discussing the long arm versus the short arm. Well, this video is called Get Hooked. Okay, what a great topic, right? Get hooked. What the hell does that mean, right? Well, start thinking of it this way. This, this is going to take your golf swing up an entirely different level right now once you understand this. So all of a sudden, again, we're talking, if you haven't seen the grip and the you know, proper hand placement and what it's going to do to the body, you need to. Okay, so get hooked. What does that mean? So if I can think about it like this, and I've made the takeaway, what I want to feel like is this lead arm now turns into a hook that hooks around my spine. And when it hooks around my spine, you're going to be like, wow, that is incredible feeling. So watch what happens. I've taken the club away. My only thought is hook my lead arm around my spine. And look where I'm going to get to every time. Okay, but what most people do is they go this way. There's no hook around the spine. The hands keep working out and away and up so they don't get this great rotation with the lead arm being pressed against the chest and all these different things. So if you can think about it, because now we've got what I call a neutral or negative shaft position the hands are behind the golf ball we've made our takeaway now my only thought here is to hook the left the lead arm around my spine okay and watch what this does so it is hooked around my spine so watch this i'm here i've taken it away now all i'm gonna do is hook this entire lead arm around my spine okay around my spine so all of a sudden it's like this now I'm gonna hook around my spine and when I hook around my spine guys this is what allows me to stay centered this is what and what I mean by centered is that I haven't moved to the outside of my feet in any direction so I've got this great grip I've got the hand placement correct the elbow is down during the takeaway now all of a sudden we are going to hook the left arm around the spine point blank so we're here watch this again here hook and we're right there every single time and I just cannot miss because my idea is to work around my spine instead of getting here lifting up there is once I get here watch this once I get here and I'm not gonna hook around the spine I'm gonna go up there's no look at the difference in my arm position here I'm not going to hook the left arm around the spine. I'm up. Look at this. See this position? Not bad for the modern swing, I guess. But now, look at this. Here, no hook. Okay? See this picture. Watch this. Here, hook. Look at the difference. My hands went from here to here. So all of a sudden, now I'm like, okay, hook. This is where I'm at. Here, no hook, this is where I come up. Pretty simple to see the difference. So now, after you've made your one-piece takeaway, and then that's really where the hands are going to start to roll and all these things that we've talked about, we're just going to set up. Here's our trigger. Move this away. Now, from right here, my only thought is, as I'm setting the hands and getting the different things to happen, I'm hands and hook. There we go. Here again, take away, think of hook the left arm around my spine. Boom, nice and tight. And all of a sudden, you are going to feel all these wonderful things because watch what happens. Here, hook. Look what just happened to my knee when I do it right. Okay, it's real simple. We get here, we're taking it away. I'm going to hook. Now this knee has come in. So now I'm going to stay hooked. I'm going to stay hooked when I start to come down. When I'm at the top here, let's no hook. Now I'm gonna come down. That's my only choice. Doesn't look bad for the modern swing. But now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get here. I'm gonna hook around my spine. Now I'm going to stay hooked around my spine. Then all of a sudden everything comes through. The right goes through and I'm going to try to hook the right arm around the spine. So now when we're coming through the gaunt ball, if the left arm, lead arm, hooks around the spine, it's going to stay hooked around the spine in the transition. Then we're coming through the ball. Now I want the right arm to hook around the spine on the other side. 
Okay, guys, right here, what we're going to do is we're going to, once we get here, we're at the top and we're hooked. We're staying hooked coming around. We get into impact. Now I'm going to hook the right arm or the trail arm around the spine. Pretty simple. So watch this. We're here. We come through. Now my only objective is to hook this around me. I'm not letting it go out and then come up and doing something crazy. We've got to get it to where the left arm, lead arm hooked, impact, then the right arm has to hook. And you will just be amazed with this simple concept and it's really going to help your game. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.